Which vaccine is the best one to get? This is the most frequently asked question that people are considering. Pfizer, 95%, Moderna, 94%, Sinopharm, 79.3%, and Sinovac, 78%, and later 50.4%. According to data from the Butantan Institute, these numbers are often mentioned. They are the efficacy of vaccines. If you are only looking at these numbers, it's natural to say that China's vaccines aren't as good as the others. But this theory is misleading. First, you need to understand what these numbers mean. A vaccine efficacy rate is calculated in large clinical trials, and it's very complicated. But we could simply separate these tested people into two groups in this presentation. Half receive the vaccine and half get a placebo. They go back to living their normal lives for a period of time while scientists track their health conditions. In the trial for Sinovac, for example, up to December 16, 2020, there were 12,396 participants. In the end, 253 people were infected with COVID-19. If the 253 were split evenly, that would mean you're just as likely to get sick with the vaccine as without it. Therefore, it would have a 0% efficacy rate. If all 253 were in the placebo group and zero people who received the vaccine became sick, the vaccine would have an efficacy of 100%. With this particular trial, there were 168 test subjects in the placebo group and 85 in the vaccine group. The vaccine had a 50.7% efficacy. What does the 50.7 efficacy mean? Does it mean of the 1,000 people who are vaccinated, 493 will get sick? It's important to understand firstly what that um, outcome is was measured. So a vaccine with an efficacy of about 50% in a, in a trial means that there was a 50% reduction in the cases that they were measuring. It doesn't mean that all those people will get sick. It just means that it halves the, uh, that you're going to get infection, the, the risk that you're going to get infection. These efficacy numbers really just tell you what happened in each vaccine trial, not exactly what will happen in the real world. Can different vaccines be compared to one another? What factors may affect the results of the trial? So that's the different ways of measuring the effect of a vaccine. Now, in clinical trial situation, trials actually can't be directly compared against each other because, you know, there, there's many different things that may vary. For example, you know, the Sinovac was performed in Brazil as well as Turkey and Indonesia, but in Brazil, there's the P1 variant of concern which is circulating. And so this may reduce the vaccine efficacy. So the Pfizer vaccine has only really been tested um, in the situation of the wild, you know, the standard virus. Um, but there is some data from the B117, the UK variant that's come out of, of England and in Israel. And Moderna really doesn't have any results yet against any of the variants of concern. There's many, many reasons as to why you can't directly compare the results from different studies. So you have to understand, you know, in the context and the design of the studies to be able to understand their results. Preventing any infection at all is not the point of a vaccine. The goal of a vaccine program is to detain this virus in order to defend against it, to remove its ability to cause serious symptoms, spread, hospitalization, and death. So from a clinical trial of 50% was enough to get licensed in the context of a pandemic. You know, when, when we're looking just at the Sinovac, for example, so it had 100% vaccine efficacy against moderate severe disease. But really at this point in time, the most important thing is to prevent severe disease and death. And so all the vaccines um, really have performed extremely well against severe disease and death. In all these trials, Pfizer, Moderna, and Sinovac, some people in the placebo groups were hospitalized or even died from COVID-19. But not one fully vaccinated person in any of these trials was hospitalized or died from COVID-19. It means Sinovac, as well as all these other vaccines now offered, will 100% protect you from death and hospitalization. Which one will help end the pandemic? The most effective vaccine at this point in time is the one that's in your arm. So the one that you can get is the most important one. 
you know, to get right now. But at this point in time, you know, take the one that's given to you by your government, provided it's been, um, you know, been approved um, by the, the regulatory authorities.